Hi, you guys. So today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Barbie Extra number 13. You guys I opened her out of her packaging like two seconds ago. There's all of her packaging. This is how she comes straight out the box. I'm not brushing her hair. I'm not doing anything. This is how she comes straight out the box. And it's a lot. You guys just get ready. Okay. So I bought her from Amazon. Amazon had her. Um, they told me it was going to be maybe November 1st. They were going to ship it and they wound up shipping it like not too long ago, and I came from Canada, so hello can Canadian people that watch me. I love you guys. So let's take a look at her. Okay, let's look at her little accessories first. Okay, we have a cute little rabbit, right? It says Barbie Extra. It's a vinyl thing. Personally, these dolls need a brush. I haven't seen them do a brush. They only do it like special occasion dolls and like hair play dolls, but if you have a doll with long hair, you'd need to provide a brush. I would rather that instead of an animal. At least it's not a dog though. So it's a cute little rabbit, adorable, right? We have a little Easter basket thing, which is really strange. Look how cute this is though. It's, it's strange, but it's cute. So it's a very Easter themed doll, definitely. It's really, really strange, but this is what they've decided to do. So we're not gonna hate on them. We're just gonna tell you like it is. So it's cute, but it's strange. We have a cute little love necklace. So adorable. Look how cute. So, so adorable. Love. We have a repeat accessory right here. Really, really cute. It's adorable. I think it's cute. This kind of looks like the Barbie um, extra ones. The ones with the, the purple, the pink um, coat one. It looks like her glasses. So this is definitely a repeat accessory in my opinion. But it's adorable, right? Cute little accessories. And this is Barbie Extra number 12. So I think they start in the logo, the numbers, which is really nice. So this is Barbie Extra number 12. So if you're looking for it on Amazon, eBay, wherever you choose in the shop. So Barbie Extra number 12. See, it says it right there. 12. They're logoing their numbers now, which is really nice. I'm so proud of them. So let's take a look at her. Okay, I have a lot to say about her. First of all, um... Her outfit is really cute. It's very strange, but it's cute. You know, this is a vinyl overlay raincoat thing. Because as I was opening her, I was getting a whiff of plastic. I didn't know where it was coming from. It was coming from this vinyl overlay. It's like a poncho thing. She's ready for the weather. You know, they have a snap closure back here, which is really nice. So it is removable. So you can take this off like this. Um, these are the two snaps right here. So you can snap it open and close. Let's see. So if we can do some camera, maybe. The thing that I'm surprised that they didn't do is like melted onto the plastic, but they stitched it, which is really nice. They have snap closures for the um, stitches right here. That's really, really cute. It's a cute little vinyl coat. Perfect for the weather. The rainy days, right? This is her cute little flowery outfit. So, so adorable. I know the hair. I know. I know. We're going to get to that in a minute. Um, cute little hoop earrings. These are non-removable. Mattel, I think personally, people would want to remove the earrings because the earrings tend to catch the hair and wrap around the hair. So I would think it would be a good idea, Mattel, to make the earrings remo removable. That way people can actually comb the hair without snagging the, the earrings. See how it's tangling? This is, this is was how she was out of the box. So... She's got a really, really cute outfit. This is very, very thick, like nylon material. This is a choker neck thing right there. These shorts are absolutely adorable. I love, I love these shorts. A little, little country denim thing happening. Definitely this outfit would look better if it was different patterns instead of flower, flower. Maybe a flower dress would have been really cute, but this is what they've decided to do. So I would think if you collect all three or four Barbie extras, like the Barbie style dolls, you can mix and match their outfits. So this is her bracelet. Really, really cute. This is her purse. I think this is adorable. What is this? It's a heart, I think. A watch, a flower watch. Yeah, it is, flower watch. So she's got articulation, of course. She just made like a regular articulated Barbie doll. You know, bends at the knee, just basic articulation. These are cute. These remind me a lot of the pink haired Barbie extra shoes she does have a high heel foot though so that's good right okay let's take this off so you could put her in high heel feet exclusive fashions awesome right 
I'm glad that they haven't gone with the flat feet as far as I know with the Barbie extras. So these are her eyes. Her eyes are screened on, you guys. So you can see the pixelation right there, hopefully. As I'm moving it side to side, you can see there's some kind of screening on there. So if you're kind of particular about the eyes, just they are screened on. Okay. Very, very basic makeup, but it's cute. You know, she's got a little orange eyeshadow. You can see it right there. Both of these girls have symmetrical eyes. I did want to keep it one to collect, so I got still one new in the box. And this is my one to keep. Okay, so this hair situation, this is a hard as a rock gel. You know, this looks like a ribbon um, with stickers on it. Um, I'm imagining if you were to wash this out, like these little stickers would come out too, hopefully. But yeah, so this is gelled right here. This is also gelled right here. They in this area they really concentrated that gel i'd love to know what kind of what kind of gel they use at mattel's factory like where they do these dolls at okay it's cute but i mean it's not necessary for this doll in general but it is cute um i would have preferred maybe not so much gel maybe a little bit just enough to hold it because this is like it's like a ribbon basically that's what it reminds me of but this right here is also gel, you guys. This situation right here, from here to here. They just basically dunked her in gel. The good thing is, though, she is melted in the inside. So they don't have the glue in the inside no more, thankfully. This is her hair straight out, the, out of the box. It is a little bit boxy. It does need a brush. Unfortunately, these dolls do not come with a brush. So they include all this gorgeous, you know, saran hair. It is very, very long, you could see. The hair play point is on game. Like this is really, really nice quality Barbie hair. It is the typical Saran hair. It's not the cheap stuff that they've been using lately in my opinion, but it's very, very soft um, Saran Barbie hair. So kids will love this, adults will love it because she's kind of cool and kind of kooky looking. She's just different, you know? Love, love, love her. So she's got full range of motion. No ankle articulation, but she does have knee articulation. She could sit and stand with no problem. So she's a really, really cool basic doll. Really, really adorable. I love these Barbie extra dolls. I really do want the one with the green hair, especially. She has the cutest outfit and the green hair. It's just everything. This one is like, I need her. She has long blonde hair. They don't do this that often without it molded on top, you guys. Just think about this. She doesn't have anything molded on. She has a real outfit. I mean, she's gorgeous, right? This Barbie extra doll is amazing. Look at this hair. I can't get over the length. The thickness is pretty thick, you guys. It's decently thick, you could see. It's cute. I just wish they would have included a hairbrush with her. So when they did package her, you guys, um, it was not combed. It was just basically separated and rubber banded down just like they always do. There's no real special thing. This is not a collector Barbie. This is like a Playland doll. So they were very rushed with this packaging, you guys. She has nice tight joints. Everything is really cute about her. So she did have like three Kajinkers. She still got one in the back of her head. I could feel it. It's huge. Look at this plastic snap tape. This is huge, gigantic. Let's see if I could pull it out with something, right? I'll get it with my fingers. Oh. Oh, that was easy. Okay. So I pulled that little Kajinker tape out. Pretty easy. Considering the fact that they don't do the glue anymore, so you won't have any glue seepage. Let's take a look at her scalp, you guys. She's very, like, it's like smaller chunks of hair, basically. It's not as clumpy as they usually do. It's very, very finely rooted. Rooted. I said rooted weird, that was weird. But um, all of her plugs and everything, it's it's a lot finer than what they usually do. You know what I'm saying? Usually it's like clump, 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 clump. And this one's like they spaced it out more and they did more realistic looking, you know, scalp rooting. They didn't put a lot of hair in, but it's just enough, you know. But she will be cute and adorable. You just have to like wash her, you know. But she does have a lot of hair, which is really nice. It's not like thick. But it's not thin neither. It's like in the middle, kind of, basically, is what I could say. But she is really, really cute. So let me know what you guys think about this Barbie Astro. And just remember to like and subscribe, and you'll see more doll videos. Bye.